everybody, it's Chasey Poo, and today I'm going to be reviewing the packing underwear from Pack Animal. Pack Animal is a queer and trans owned company from Canada, which I love, and let's just get on to what products they have. So, they sell jock straps briefs and boxer briefs that you can kind of customize into what type of like packing underwear you want. So there are three options. So I just flipped this pair upside down so you can see. The first option is no pouch, nothing. Just regular plain old underwear. The second option is a pouch here where you can place a packer in and it just kind of stays there, doesn't touch your skin and looks great packing. So before I go into anything else, let me just show you what that looks like. I will be using the Trans Guy Supply number one trans packer to demonstrate. So let me show you what it looks like in a couple of their models that I have with this one that is just the packing over here. The third option is this over here. So you can see something will be touching you. This is usually more for an STP, all right, or for sex. So you can use this for an STP where you would put the shaft of the STP in here and it would go all the way around so that the STP part would actually still be touching you and you can pee and then kind of like just move it around. I don't think it's the best for STPs. I think that this is mostly meant more for sex. So to compare this, there's another company that does something similar with the O-ring in the underwear. I think they were the first ones, which is Rodeo. So they have underwear where they have a hole right there where you can put like a prosthetic or a dildo in and then you can use it for sex. I believe that this is what these underwear are meant for, where you can put something here and this becomes your harness instead of having to wear a harness. For some people, harnesses can be very dysphoria induced because you don't feel like it's super connected to you. So wearing something like just underwear and having the peen just come out right here is actually a better option because you're able to kind of feel it and see it and it's still kind of part of you. Now I'm not going to show you what that looks like in this video only because I don't want this video to get flagged. If I show a prosthetic, it's over with with YouTube. So what I'm going to do instead is I'm actually going to show all of the details of this with a prosthetic inside on my OnlyFans page. Now my OnlyFans page, I show different ways to use prosthetics. I use masturbation sleeves on myself, and yes, you do see everything. So this will be one of the educational videos where I show how to use it with a dildo or a prosthetic for sex and kind of how you would use it, how you would put it on, and so on. So this one also does have just a regular pouch that you can put in here. It does still lead to that. So what I'll do is I'll also show you what this looks like with just a regular packer. So those boxers are $35. Now let's move on to their jock straps. Oh yeah, their jock straps are $18 and you can also do the pouch thing over here where you're putting a packer in there. So let me show you what that looks like right now. They also just have regular briefs for $18, but I didn't get any of those, so I can't show them, but they do have them available. So let me talk to you a little bit about the feeling of these and if I like them. So first of all, I wanna talk about the material that they're using in all of the designs that I have. Like all of them are the same material. It's like a spandexy, it's not like cotton, like quite cotton underwear, you know what I'm saying? It is definitely a spandexy, stretchy material, but it's very soft and kind of feels a little bit like sports gear, just a little bit. I'm not sure if it would help wick in away the sweat, but just so you know that that's what this material is, because when I originally saw it, I thought it was just like regular material like this shirt, you know? But no, it's a definitely a stretchy spandexy material. The other thing that I want to point out is the size. All right, so let me just do a little comparison with the these ones from Pack Animal in a large, which is what the size that I got, which I believe was like a 35 to a 37 inch. And then underneath I have the Cake Bandit underwear from Trans Guy Supply that are also a large. Look at this. That is a huge difference. Now, the thing that I opened this box and I was so discouraged. I was like, there's so many underwear in here that are beautiful and I can't wait to try them on and review them, but there's no way they're gonna fit me. I don't even know if they'll fit Sierra. It was very discouraging, but I'll tell you that they do really stretch, all right? All underwear stretch like they should, but this one definitely does stretch out to the point that it should. So I filmed two other videos before filming this one and I've actually wearing the boxers the entire time to see if it would feel bad, if it would cut off my circulation. It doesn't feel bad at all to me. It doesn't feel like it's cutting out my circulation. I feel like my fat is bulging out a little bit, which I wish that it wouldn't. Some other wear companies like elastic on them, like aren't as tight, so they feel a little bit better. So what I would app 
absolutely recommend with these ones is to size up. And the other thing is even around my thigh, I feel like it is a little bit tight. And I don't like that. I want it to just like be tight like underwear, but not so tight. So I think it's because the size might just be not great for me. But to me, the large from Trans Guy Supply versus the large from here is like huge, like a huge difference. And I know maybe somebody's gonna say like, oh, American sizes and Canadian sizes. Listen, I'm Canadian. I lived there my whole life and now I live in the US. The sizes are like pretty much the same. Sometimes things feel a little bit larger, but in the US things come in like three, four, 5XL, whereas in Canada you can find that, but it's less common. So the sizes are pretty much similar when you say like large and it's like 36 to 38 waist, like that's what you expect because that's what it says on their website for pack animal. So that's really my only like negative thing about this because in all they are pretty comfortable. I really like the designs that they come up with, like they're really cool. The prices are okay. It is a little bit on the more expensive side, especially the boxers being $35, but it is a really good compromise for something that if you want a packer in here that doesn't actually touch your skin, but is still part of you and underwear that look really good. Like these at Pride, like just wearing this at Pride, yes. However, I'm gonna need a bigger size. And just so you know, all the ones that I got were a size large, so everything that you saw in me showing you what they look like in Packers are large, even though they look like this that could barely fit on my leg. Like, it does actually stretch pretty well. If you have these underwear, let me know what you think. And again, check out my OnlyFans page if you wanna see how to use that one with a prosthetic and just some other things that I have on there, like how to use masturbation sleeves and use other things. So yeah, check it out, and I will see you later. Thank you so much for watching this video. Have a great day. Love you, bye.